Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Collins Prepper with a, a project video. I have here an old tape measure that I bought used oh about 15 years ago and playing around with it one day I flipped it over and realized that this was a military antenna tape measure that is no longer made or I haven't been able to find it and you can see here where it says MC or Mega Cycles which has since been replaced by megahertz that uh, kind of shows how old it is but basically what this was was a standard tape measure where the company actually printed how long the wavelength would be if you had to cut your own antenna and make an antenna for this frequency so on the back side you'll see the different antenna the different frequencies and you flip it over so for 20 mega cycles on this tape or megahertz a quarter wavelength antenna would be 11 feet let's see and 7 inches long and they have this is for short wave but they have all these different frequencies on here and the more I pull the tape out which is also a good example as you can see the higher or the lower the frequency so that's 16 mega cycles the longer the wavelength is and there's 15 mega cycles and if you keep going down here as I'm pulling this off there's 14 megacycles or megahertz, which is the amateur radio band, uh, the 20 meter band that we've talked about in other videos. So I thought this was a really neat idea. If you didn't want to do the math or have access to the internet or have a calculator and you needed to cut an antenna at, let's say, a retreat location, is to have a tape measure with your antenna lengths pre-marked on it. But like I said, I wasn't able to find this reel again. And it doesn't really say who made it. It doesn't have a part number on it. So my solution was, was to make a list of the frequencies that I use and purchase one of these antenna reels from Home Depot. I think this is uh, maybe 10 bucks. And what I did here is I marked them off and I marked them on the, my tape. So these two uh, Sharpie or Magic Marker marks is the first line is for GM, GRMS radios. So you can kind of see how short or long that antenna is. And then a little further up is what they call 70 centimeter or amateur radio UHF. And then I went a little further out and put the wavelength for MERS and amateur radio 2 meter. And I'll pull this way out because I actually went through and I did all the HF frequencies that I used as a ham radio operator. I even marked off. There we go. So at 10 feet and a quarter, I'm sorry, at 7 feet long, 10 inches and a quarter is the 10 meter amateur radio band. And if you keep going here, it's 8 feet. And I'll come across a little bit more. So 8 feet 7 inches and a quarter, that's roughly the antenna length for making a quarter wave CB antenna. Now I marked them a little longer than they need to be because you want to be able to cut a little bit off your antenna as you're tuning it so you always want a little extra on your antenna length um, in case you want to make it make adjustments. So here's the 12 meter band I marked off and again as you can see the more I pull out the lower the frequency the, the longer the tape is. So there's a 17 meter amateur radio band that was marked and here's the 20 meter amateur radio band that's marked so that's 16 feet three and three quarter inches long roughly for the frequency that I use and I'll keep pulling here but I think this is a pretty good idea if you know what frequencies you're going to operate on and you think you might have to cut antennas that you mark them off on your tape here and then you can just lay out your wire next to the tape and make your own antenna so here at 32 feet and just 32 feet three quarter inches uh, that's the frequency I use for the 40 meter or 7 megahertz band so anyway just an idea an old technology and an old idea that was actually pretty good where they marked the frequency on the back side of a tape measure if you had to make an antenna uh, just to re reproduce that yourself, pick one of these up at the Home Depot, uh, pick the frequencies you need, find out the wavelength, and mark them on your tape. So if you ever need to make an antenna, you just pull this out and 
cut your own antenna. Now I'm going to break this video here and then I'm going to put some slides up uh, of what the frequency, frequency bands are typically for amateur radio and then a couple of websites where you can actually go and type in your frequency that you're using and it will tell you what the wavelength is. So you can make a list of all the frequencies you use or think you might want to use and enter it into this online calculator and just type the frequency it you in you click uh, calculate and it'll give you feet inches and then you can write that down on a piece of paper and then go back and mark them on your tape measure so there's a little more after this part of the video okay everybody I'm back uh, with the slides and trying to merge this into my video editor uh, this slide here uh, I've showed this before but this is the uh, American Radio Relay League's US Amateur Radio Band PDF file they have and I'll put a link below where you can download this PDF and I recommend this be in every preppers go bag and at every retreat now, even if you don't have this equipment it's uh, good to know what these bands are and frequencies that you can monitor to pick up news and information so as part of our project here I've uh, blown this up a little bit and selected some of these bands now you may not necessarily operate on these frequencies but to give you an idea how you should mark your tape and as I've discussed in other videos, the lower the frequency, the longer the wavelength. So when you make an antenna, it's a certain length, and then you start to cut it and trim it to make sure it's exactly the right length for your frequency. So for the purposes of making the tape, I recommend selecting the lowest frequency of each band you're going to operate in so you have the most copper wire laid out, and it allows you to clip it down and make it shorter. Uh, so what I did here is I blew this up and I drew red circles around common ham radio bands and t typical frequencies for ideas. So before you make your tape you want to make a list of the frequencies that you're going to operate on. And these are just examples because I don't know what you're going to operate on. But in these examples I uh, have GMRS, Amateur, 70 centimeter or UHF, and then MERS and Amateur 2 meter and then CB radio or citizen band radio. Now the first list I have GMRS and I put high and low because if you look at the list of the GMRS frequencies the first 14 are 462 and then there's a couple that jump up to 467 well that 5 megahertz change actually changes the length of the antenna significant enough in my opinion that you would want to cut two separate antennas for these frequencies and this pattern follows again in the MERS frequencies. The first three are in the 151 band and the last two are 154 and again that changes the length enough that where I think you may want to consider cutting a second antenna for that for that service. And then I put in here the amateur radio 2 meter band and then CB radio to give you an idea. In this case it's channel 19 is the frequency. So once you have your list then I say you go to this website uh, it's an antenna dipole calculator online and I have a the website up here below and I'll put a, a link down below for you and enter in each one of the frequencies that you're going to operate on and hit calculate and it'll give you the antenna length in feet and inches and put that down on your list for each one of the frequencies you're going to operate on and when you're done take your Home Depot uh, real measuring tape and pull it out and where each one of those frequencies came up mark it with a sharpie this is uh, my where I'd make a MERS antenna or a GMRS antenna or a CB antenna or a ham radio HF antenna for the bands you're going to operate and put that in your uh, communications equipment bag so if you have a, a go bag for other preps and you have a go package for your comms have this in there so if you get to a retreat location and you find you need to make an antenna you don't have a calculator, you don't have access to the internet, and you don't want to do long multiplication and division problems, you just pull out the tape and you can go ahead and cut your antennas. And I hope this has been helpful, and as always, thank you for uh, watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper.